I'm Moses Malagan, the CEO of Agorinova. I grew up in an environment where I saw my mom often goes to the backyard to have a pepper, tomato garden eggs when she was cooking for us. There were moments where we had difficulties in paying school for my mom who harvest about 20 to 30 of our local chicken, the poultry, and sell them to pay our school fees. So as a child, I had this understanding that if I'm into agriculture, one, I can get food to eat, and second, anytime I need money, I can sell some of this produce and make money for me. So that be my drive, my motivation since childhood. Agoinova was officially incorporated in the year 2017. We currently have products in nine African countries. We had our first funding as a company through the Cosmos Innovation Center. And then we had our business incubation at Meltwater Entrepreneur School of Technology, MEST Africa, where we validated our product and built a lot of our software. As a company, we are focused on digitizing agriculture in Africa. And by this, I mean building climate smart technologies like our FBS Innova app, which provide weather information and guide farmers to know how to go about with farming activities and making them adaptive to global climate change. We have um, Cocotac Rabbit and Powers formalizes the farming activities of livestock farmers and make them take data-driven decisions. We first provide inputs like maize for the livestock farmer to start feeding the livestock. We help the farmer now connect the farm producers, poultry, eggs or chicken to ready and guaranteed market through our cocoa market platform. And then we have the Cocotac Farm Management app. So it's a bundle of services we provide, unlike our competitors who are doing one service or another. We have a very strong team as a company. All our mobile apps or software products are in-house built, which give us a leverage above our competitors. All our portraits are categorized into certain types, so we have pullets, small, medium, large, extra large, and all of this comes with their own uh, reference and uh, weight, which brings standard and uniformity in the space. And I think it has been a challenge because most of these people are not used to this, so bringing this thing up is a bit challenging, but the response is quite positive, and we are hoping over the years it will be widely adopted and accepted by all. Looking at the agri-tech space, I want to talk about two trends. First of all is the adoption and the second is the funding. Farmer in the Bono region of Ghana, specifically Doma, would want to sell the pottery eggs. He that too will have to travel almost 8 to 10 hours to Accra to look for market. But with what Agroinova is providing through our marketing platform, the farmer will just start to a short course, start 713, start 83 hash, and get a farm produce connected to a standby buyer. And so with all these things, it's encouraging and it's serving as a value for farmers to adopt um, this whole digitization. Also about funding, gradually there's a trend of training and VCs now opening their focus and also their, their rings to support um, agri-tech businesses and a lot of programs now are coming in which focuses strictly on agri-tech because digitization is the way to go and getting data means big money and so that's the trend I've observed. I think they are very positive trend I'm very excited about. Agroinova has evolved over the years. Currently, the company is kind of a decentralized leadership. I prefer calling my team leads or leaders than to calling them managers. I believe they should be able to lead wherever they find themselves. But before they are able to lead, you have to get them empowered psychologically. And by so doing, you get them to be committed to getting the outcome or getting the work done. Agroinova is at the verge of digitizing agriculture in Africa. I want to encourage the youth to get themselves involved in agriculture because this whole digitization is good to get the youth who are easy to use these technologies to be involved in agriculture to make it much better. Looking at the economy, we are still at the stage of agricultural production and we are not even able to produce enough. So let's get ourselves involved. I'm a young person and the entire Agroinova team are young ladies and young men who are changing the narrative of our agriculture. And we need you out there as a YouTuber to come and join us, um, change this narrative and also make a living out of it.